In this video, I will show you how to access Dropbox from your computer, browser, or your phone or tablet. So let's get started. On Android devices, you need to go to Play Store and then search for Dropbox. Select Dropbox and then touch Install to install it. Then touch Open to open it. Here we got to sign up or if you already got an account to sign in. I simply touch on sign in, enter my email address and my password and then touch sign in. But if you don't have an account, simply create an account and then sign in. When you sign in, just be aware that it would show you some advertisements so that you would subscribe and pay some monthly fee. But you don't really need to do that. You could use the free version without paying anything. Here I simply touch the back arrow here it gives a summary of what you could do using Dropbox but I will show you so I touch skip as you can see in this corner Dropbox gives up to 2 GBs of free storage anything more than 2 GB you need to pay it's quite a low amount compared to for example Google Drive which gives you up to 15 GBs free storage nevertheless it can be sometimes useful to have additional cloud storage for example you could have OneDrive, Google Drive and Dropbox at the same time on the same device. At the bottom here we got few tabs such as home, files, photos and account. When you open the Dropbox it goes to the files first. In the files you could see all the folders and files that are stored on Dropbox. When you're on the file tab you get options such as upload, folder and scan. You could use scan to scan documents using your phones or tablets camera. And then if you touch home you get options on the top such as recent, shared and start. If you go to the photos tab it will give an option to back up your photos and videos from your phone or tablet. But I don't think 2 GB free space would be enough to use Dropbox for backing up photos and videos from your phone because as soon as you take a few videos the Dropbox would be completely filled up. Now if you go to your computer and then go to Google and search for Dropbox download you should find a link to download Dropbox onto your computer. Open the link and then click on download now then click on save then go to the download folder double click on the installer and follow the steps to install Dropbox onto your desktop. Once you finish installing then you could go to your file explorer on your windows and then on the left hand side of file explorer you should see Dropbox select Dropbox. I have already got a photo saved on my desktop for convenience. You could easily drag and drop any file or files such as photos onto Dropbox. It's important to make sure Dropbox is open so go to your start and search for Dropbox and then select Dropbox. Dropbox should open if it is not already opened and you should see an icon here showing Dropbox and it should show that it start synchronizing your files. And as you can see, there is a green check mark next to the photo that we have just uploaded. That means that photo has been successfully uploaded to Dropbox Cloud. Now if you go back to your tablet or phone and open Dropbox, under the home tab, under the recent, you could see the recently uploaded photo on your tablet. Now I'm gonna do the opposite, which is to upload a file from my tablet or phone to my Dropbox and then access that file from my computer. So I open the gallery and then I hold my finger on one of the photos to select it and then I touch share in here and it gives me all the options that I can use to share. I simply select add to Dropbox. You could simply add at the root directory but also you could touch here to create a new folder. I just name the folder as tablet and then I touch on create and then I touch on add. In this way the photo from our tablet is uploaded to our Dropbox. Now if I go back to my computer and go onto my Dropbox folder, I can see the new folder called tablet is already available. So I double click on it, I open it and you can see the photo that I just shared from my tablet is available on my computer.
Another way to share is to go again to your gallery, for example, select the file and then touch on share, but this time select share with Dropbox. Then you should get a message saying uploading content, touch on OK, and then Dropbox would start uploading your file. Your Dropbox email should be verified in order to use this service. Then you could type anybody's email here to send the file to that person. Or you could touch on here to create a link. Touch on create a link. You got a few ways of sharing this link. I select copy link. Then I can go to my Gmail, for example, compose a new email there, add the person whom I want to send this link to, type any subject you want, and then in the compose email section, simply paste that link by holding your finger on the compose and then selecting paste and then touch on send to send this email. It doesn't have to be your computer, but I go back to my computer. I go open that email that I just received with the link. Then you can or anyone can simply click on this link. Then the link would open on your browser. There you get an option to download it. So click on download and the file would get downloaded onto your computer. Or if you have opened the email from your phone or tablet, you could then download the file to your phone or tablet. If you're not using your Dropbox very often on your computer, I suggest you to close it by going to this corner here. If you don't see the icon, then click on here and then selecting Dropbox. Then click on here and then click on quit. Just remember that if you share anything from any other devices, you need to reopen Dropbox in order to synchronize your files. And finally, you don't need to download Dropbox in order to access any files. You simply could go to your browser and then go to dropbox.com and then click on here to log in, enter your email and password and simply click on sign in. And here you can see all your files directly from your browser. You could even upload files onto your Dropbox from your browser. If you have any questions about Dropbox, please ask that in the comments below. Also, you could learn a lot more about other cloud storage services such as Google Drive and OneDrive by following the playlist on the screen. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel.